All right, today is the day I'm finally gonna get the grill back together. Uh, I finally got each grill fixed up, repainted, kind of shined up as good as they're gonna get. I was able to clean up the reflectors, get them back on to the grill. Uh, again, get some new black paint on them and they're gonna be ready to go. One of the biggest issues was finding all of the little fiddly bits, so I got some clips for the screws to put into the grill. Through a lot of experimentation, I finally settled on a piece of coat hanger and a 3D printed knob to uh, help with the little hooks that have to hold the side of the grill on. See more of that later. It's able to salvage some of the screws from what was used to hold the original grills on and I had to order some parts uh, straight overnight or three weeks from Germany and I got them all together now. So uh, should be pretty quick work to put all this back together and then the adventure that started off as just replacing the headlights will be finalized and solved. All right, so the first part of this adventure is getting the center kidney grills on. So had to fix these grills up with a little bit of JB Weld. I also had to get some new clips that grab onto the body, uh, 3D printed. These little posts were all ruined on the, on the original grill, so they're uh, just bonded on and, and hopefully they're gonna hold up to some driving. We'll see how that goes, but it's better than buying a new grill. So this is fairly simple to put on. I just back the, uh, the screws off and throw it back in. So here we go. Looks like it's fitting well. Don't want to tighten up too much. It's just got to be snug. So we'll just gently torque it up. If it vibrates loose, uh, I will tighten it as it needs, needs to be. I'll probably end up putting some Loctite on these eventually. There, it's nice and secure. Looks good. Alrighty. Get to put on the uh, left and right side grills now, and that should do it. All right, so passenger side grill uh, can get installed next. Looks real pretty now. It uh, just uses at the side. It uses this weird little hook um, and some to hold it on it just hooks into this little tab here and it pulls the the shroud around the headlight uh, this was a uh, missing on this side so I've actually had a friend 3d print it just drew it up 3d printed it I played around with a bunch of different stuff to make this hook uh, I tried some threaded rod and bending it but it would just break I ended up grabbing a piece of coat hanger and bending it into the right shape and put some thread on it and it uh, I think it's going to work pretty good. So we'll see and try this one first. Hopefully it doesn't break. Last thing I need is a screwdriver. And then uh, I got some nice little screws to put the grill on. That should do it. Here we go.
And now I can see that little knob pulling the, the front grill tight. So that's good. Let's get all the little screws in now. I'm going to use two of the old ones and two of the new ones on this side. And hopefully that works. If the little new, new little ones, because they're a little smaller, don't work, I'll go ahead and just use the old ones. And hopefully the new ones work on the other side because I have new clips for those. Little screwdriver and that's all. off for a second it seems to be sitting a little funny I want to try to get it a little bit more trimmed in this location I'm also going to use these big screws where they're hidden so that uh, you see the pretty new BMW screws in there I don't know what this is hung up on there we go So the pretty new BMW screw doesn't fit in one of the locations there. I'll try to get it with the old screw. Last thing I gotta do is tighten up that new clip I made. Should be good to go. It tightened up in there really nice, so uh, that's pretty good. I like it. Not a big fan of this here, but what you gonna do? I think we'll probably eventually have to take this off anyway to uh, redo the grill. It's good enough. <clears throat> okay, so this side of the grill is missing all of its little clips, so I bought some. I'm hoping they're gonna work. I think they will. So I just need four. There you go. And they just clip on over the hole like that. And the screw. Well, I just lost the screw. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, those are uh, hard to come by. I'll have to get that out. So what I was trying to show is that little screw threads into that clip like so. Um, so that uh, looks like it's gonna work, which is good. There's a few spots here that get the clip. And of course it doesn't actually go over this other tab. So I'll just have to hold it in from behind. Uh, the screw will still thread into it, which is fine. It just won't be clipped on. Hopefully it fits on the top. It does fairly well. So there's just one I'll have to get creative there. All right, so I got, uh, this is the stock, this is the factory uh, knob that's got to hold the grill on. So it clips in there and pulls it tight. I got a little camera set up here. Hopefully you can see how this goes on. It's a bit uh, fiddly, but it worked on the other side. And this is the factory setup, so it should work just fine. Take the knob off and hook the hook through. Hook goes through like so. I'm gonna go up and thread it in.
You just gotta get it started. Then get the knob on. I don't know if that's visible at all, but... In it goes. Get it up kind of where it needs to be. And this is going to tighten up the rest of the way. The whole time you got to make sure it doesn't come off what it's hooked to. So always kind of pulling it tight. And just snugging it up. Once we get the screws tight, we'll put the rest in. But I probably want to get that screw I lost out of there. So I'm going to see if I can find a magnet and pull it out. See if the new screws are magnetic. And they are. That's good. So I should be able to reach in. Well, that is super irritating. Ha! Ah. Ta-da, that's recovered. So we'll start with that one down here. Big older screws for that spot down here because it's not visible. Doesn't work, so we'll use the new screw. So now I'm down to just one old screw and it has a new clip that's going to hold that on and it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to take one of the new screws out of this side that I used with the old clip and transfer it around. Just take a second. New screw. And this is where I'm going to have to hold the clip in behind because it's not going to clip on where it's supposed to hold. Now I'll just tighten up this clip. And there we go. Both grills fastened. That's that. Put some tools away and we're done. So that's it. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we, we managed to save it, salvage with some pieces and get it on the car. Uh, the alternative is to buy almost a thousand dollars worth of parts to get that going and that money can be better spent elsewhere. So it's good, we know the headlights work, the grill's back together, uh, just gotta put the hood back on, get that uh, sometime near, near to when it's ready to run and drive around, but uh, still a few things to do before I can drive it around.